So the concept of network teaming really comes from the concept of bonding. Because of the way it's implemented, teaming is considered by many to be a little bit more efficient and robust and flexible in nature because of its modular design. But they're really meant to accomplish the same thing. What network teaming does for us is it allows us to take multiple network interfaces, multiple physical devices, and combine their efforts into one logical component. That way, we can produce more traffic, more throughput, have more bandwidth, or we could have a failover interface in case of a malfunction of one, another interface could take a, a step in and grab that uh, traffic and pick up where the other one left off. What we have is this concept of a runner. The concept of a runner simply means how we're going to implement the team. And what that means is when we combine the efforts of these multiple network interfaces, how are they going to interact with one another? This is going to be similar to bonding modes if you're used to that with bonding in RHEL 6. What we're going to do is just take a look at the board and I've drawn out a simple team arrangement for you. So essentially the goal of this is to create a team. It's a logical object. It's not really a physical interface. But this team can then be used, depending upon the runner, to give us a active backup or a round robin or one of those different configurations. So how we're going to start the process out is by creating an object, the team itself. Now like any other network object we've created in the past, we're going to need to create a connection for that. So the connection in this case we're going to be calling team zero. And it is the connection that you want to specify things like IP address and DNS servers and default gateways and things of that nature, the actual configuration. Then the team interface, since it's actually not a real physical interface, it's not going to be able to send the traffic. So what we're going to need is some reinforcement from physical interfaces. In our example we're working with in the book, we're going to be using interfaces EN01 and EN02. The next thing we can do is examine the links that we have on our system. IPA works fine, or the IP link command as shown in the book is acceptable as well. Now you'll notice that we have EN01 and EN02 to work with. These are the physical interfaces that can support our team. The next thing we need to do is we need to actually create the team, the logical interface and its connection. So we're going to use the Network Manager command line interface to do so. 